Good morning students. Hope with God's grace you all are fit and fine. Welcome to the maths class. Today we are going to start with chapter number 1 rational numbers. So let's discuss its introduction. Rational numbers are the numbers of everyday arithmetic and why they are called the rational numbers. So let's start the lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson you will be able to distinguish between natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Define rational numbers. learn the addition subtraction multiplication and division of rational number discuss the role of zero and one for rational numbers explain additive inverse and multiplicative inverse of rational numbers find rational numbers between any two given rational numbers whole numbers are simply the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 and so on there are no fractions natural numbers are the positive whole numbers except 0 integers are like whole numbers but they also include negative num so integers can be negative positive and zero students what about 1 by 2 is it a whole number natural number or an integer you can see 1 by 2 lies between 0 and 1 we call it a rational number come along to know more A rational number is a number that can be written as a simple fraction that is as a ratio. P upon Q is a rational number but the condition is Q is not equals to 0. Now can you tell me whether this numbers are rational number or not? obviously your answer will be yes and you all are correct this all numbers are rational numbers because they can be expressed in the form of p upon q sometimes the rational number can be like this do you think this is in the simplest form no it can be further simplified but how divide numerator and denominator by 5 to get 3 by 5 this is the simplest form so students remember we can simplify the fraction by dividing numerator and denominator by common factor how to add rational numbers it's easy but before we start we will check whether they are like rational numbers or not if not take the lcm of the denominator and for numerator do the cross multiplication and get the result similarly we will do for the subtraction how to multiply any two rational numbers it's very easy so to multiply any two rational numbers we will just multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator like this and we will get the result now we will learn how to do the division of any two rational numbers it's again very easy just flip the second rational number 
and change the sign of the division into multiplication after doing that it becomes similar we have done for the multiplication then we will multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator here we have added zero to a rational number what did you notice when we add zero to a rational number the sum is always again the same rational number for this reason zero is called the additive identity of rational numbers to observe when we multiply a rational number with 1 the product is always again that rational number for this reason 1 is called the multiplicative identity of rational numbers you may come across the negative numbers while studying is minus 1 a negative of 1 yes it is because 1 plus minus 1 is equals to 0 so we say that minus 1 is the negative or additive inverse of 1 likewise for any rational number say 3 upon 7 plus minus 3 upon 7 equals to 0 we can say minus 3 upon 7 will be its additive inverse just think by which number should we multiply 7 upon 19 to get the product 1 obviously 19 upon 7 to get the product 1 so we say that 19 upon 7 is the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of 7 upon 19 summary let us summarize what we have learned a rational number is a number that can be written as p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equals to 0 rational numbers are commutative and associative under addition and multiplication zero is the additive identity for rational numbers one is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers the additive inverse of p upon q is minus p upon q and vice versa for all rational numbers a b and c a multiplied by b plus c equals to ab plus ac and a multiply by b minus c is equals to ab minus ac is called the distributive property there are infinite many rational numbers lies between any two given rational numbers that's all thank you God bless you all stay home stay safe